Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to insert a table of contents in Microsoft Word. So let's get in. A table of contents can help you really navigate through long documents. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to prepare your headings and your subheadings. Now, as you can see over here, uh, this is highlighted in blue. Now, if you um, put your cursor on there, you will see that heading one is actually highlighted. Now, if I put my cursor here, Heading two is highlighted. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click three times on all of your headings, right? So I've got that one. And as you go down, you will select the appropriate um, headings that you want to be your headings. Then what you want to do exactly the same with your subheadings is you want to just click three times and you want to make sure that you are clicking on heading two for anything that is going to be your heading two or your subheading. Right, so once we've done that, we're going to go ahead, we're going to put our cursor just over here before our first word and we're going to go up to insert and here we are going to tap on blank page. Now we're going to insert a blank page and this is where our table of contents is actually going to go. So we're going to put our cursor just over here and then we are going to references in our toolbar. Now once we are in references on the left hand side, Microsoft Word does have a built in table of contents. We're going to open this up and we are going to choose the uh, table of content style that we want. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose automatic table one. So it's this one over here. I'm going to just click it. So as you can see over here, it is automatically taken all my headings and it has inserted them. And then with an indent, it is inserted all of my subheadings, as you can see over here. Now, the nice thing about this is it can be updated as you go about with your document. So let's say you've done this sort of mid document. You want to go ahead now all the way to the bottom. And let's say we would like to um, start on this new page. We're going to go heading and we're going to just double space it and we're going to go sub heading. Right. So we are going to. Double click and highlight that. We're going to go back to home and we're going to tap on heading one. And here we're going to highlight the subheading and we are going to tap on heading two. So what's going to happen now if we go back up to our table of contents is you can see that it has not yet updated it. But if you click on your table of contents and at the top it says update table, you want to make sure that you are now updating the entire table and not just the page numbers. And you're going to tap on OK. And here you can see here is our heading that we just entered in there, as well as our subheading. Now, one of the other things you can do here is you can customize um, your headings and your subheadings. So let's just say, for example, you can take this and these are the heading one format. And here you can tap on modify. Now you can change the um, font style, alignment, size, and color. And then once you're done, you can just tap on OK. And it'll change every one of these in your um, document. And again, every time you make some changes, you're going to just tap on your table of contents, tap on update table, update entire table and okay, and those changes will take effect. If this was an awesomely helpful video, drop us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Cheers.